What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade, basketball analysis coming to you with a quick video. Today, we're going to talk about the defensive player of the year. Now, this was tougher because I think a lot of the teams took a step back defensively um, or they lost key pieces that made them great defensively because it was a lot of teams that did major overhauls or they didn't improve enough which means either guys are going to have to step up or those teams are going to slide. And if they slide, it's going to be hard for me to pick some of those guys to win defensive player of the year. If I had to be honest, I don't have any surprise players. I think that these are probably going to be the top five guys and they have already been in this discussion or won the award. So if you're looking for something that's going to blow your mind or be bold or crazy, this isn't going to be the list for you, as I really don't see that happening this year. Because for Defensive Player of the Year, you have to be able to do it as a team, not just individually. So it's still going to be guys that get the visual award as an all-NBA defender, but that may not mean they might be Defensive Player of the Year or even a candidate to win the major award. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. Um, I'm going to give you five guys that I think could be in their discussion, and then I'm going to pick who the winner is. This is not in order for people that want to know. Draymond Green. This is a guy that a lot of people was low on. He didn't play hard, didn't see him interested, wasn't ecstatic, was nowhere near the Draymond Green that we was accustomed to seeing and being the heart and soul and the anchor of the Golden State elite defense, especially at their championship peak. I think with James Wiseman being there, a guy that can protect the rim, a guy that can had the rebound in, that will make Draymond Green job a lot easier. The tough part is you have Oubre, you have Andrew Wiggins, and you have Steph Curry. Those guys are known for being okay to terrible defenders um, on the perimeter. But with Wiseman and Steve Kerr, defense and schemes, I think that if they're disciplined and they're smart, they can find a way to still be a decent team defensively. I just want to see Draymond be back to Draymond. He wasn't happy to go to work, especially when Clay went down and Steph went down and they had no KD. He had no motivation because he knew they wasn't going to be good. He knew that they wasn't going to be a playoff team because Steph went down so early in the season for a long amount of time that he really wasn't trying to give it his all anymore because he knew that it was going to amount to nothing. Now, I don't see that being the case. Most people have the Warriors being the, one of the teams that make the playoffs in the Western Conference, and that's going to have to do with them being able to defend because they play in the Western Conference and they are going to be going against the best teams in the NBA because it's loaded this year. And if they're going to want to be one of the best teams in the NBA to make it, they're going to have to be a top seven, top ten defense in the league. And if that does happen, it will be because it'll be because of their front court being able to switch on a perimeter from time to time, but also clog up and help and rotate and play at the nail sometimes defensively. And if they're able to do that, I can see their offense and their defense being good enough to be in a playoff team. But Draymond Green is a big part of that. They gave him a lot of money. They gave him a long-term commitment, and they feel that with this team being healthy at the start of the season with a different type of team that they had last year and, you know, a new a, a new seven-footer that's mobile and athletic, I think that they'll be able to get there. But it won't because just because of James Wiseman. It will be because you will have a remotivated Draymond Green. Kawhi Leonard, I put him in there just because I see Kawhi Leonard being doubted i see quiet leonard being questioned i see quiet leonard even being disrespected some of it it is because he inflicted it on himself by the way he played at the bubble but not only that some of it is because he had a subpar season you know when it comes to being the best player some people thought it was Giannis, some people thought it was Kawhi, and they all thought they was better than lebron coming into this season and neither one of them did it in the playoffs and lebron ultimately got it done and won the championship and i think that should motivate him that should make him hungry that should make him really really ready he wanted to be in la he wanted paul george he felt they had a championship coach and doc rivers with good role players that they should be able to get it done and they didn't I don't think they're going to be a great defensive team, and it wasn't to me last year, 
But I think that with the failure and everybody watching and everybody ready to pick fun at them if they fail again, that should give them enough motivation and inspiration to come out there hard, playing together and trying to prove a point that they are a championship contender. They haven't really done that in the preseason so far, but it's preseason. You know, you only can take that with a grain of salt. But we'll see if they'll be able to redo what they didn't do and do it better this season um, for 2021 um rudy gobert i really wanted to pick him for defensive player of the year but i honestly don't see the jazz being a dominant enough team where rudy gobert can walk away with this award i still think they'd be one of the best defenses but i don't really see them being an elite defensive team this season and i think that's going to be the biggest reason why gobert will not be defensive player of the year i feel like he was in the discussion he was an all-NBA defender last year, and he really did, to me, play well at the beginning of the season and tapered off. But I liked his defense a little bit more in the playoffs, even though Jokic was giving it to him sometimes. I still liked it, what he was doing actively, um, protecting the realm and helping his teammates out. And if he can be doing that again, and they're going to need it because they didn't upgrade their talent this offseason, they're really going to have to take pride on their defense. And if they can become a top seven, top 10, he's going to be in that discussion. And that's why I have him in my top five of players that could win it. But that don't mean he will win it. And that's why I don't have him winning it this year. Giannis Gallup and Nkumpo, one of the best two-way players in the league. And this team, to me, didn't get significantly better. I like the fact that they got Drew Holiday. I like the fact that they kept Middleton and Giannis together because I don't really see them getting better. Um, so they kept that intact. And they still do have Brooke Lopez. And they still do have Mike Budenhoser. And the reason why I say all those things is because that's what helped them become the number one team in the NBA. And one of the best defensive teams in the NBA the last two years was that core and that nucleus. And Giannis has a lot to prove this year. Do we want to stay more with Milwaukee? Do he want to take the commitment and stay with Milwaukee? Or do he want to ultimately leave and, you know, start a new chapter with a new team? We will see. He doesn't really look as enthused as I thought in preseason. He still seems like he has doubts to wanting to be in Milwaukee. And sometimes I even feel like he really does want out. He just don't know how to approach it. But we'll see how he plays and how he does throughout this 72-game season. And if he does make it with the Bucks. I expect them to still be one of the best defensive teams in the NBA because they are capable of it and they have the perimeter and the inside to be able to get it done. So honestly, there's no reason why they can't be one of the best defensive teams in the league. Um, the question is, can they win a title? And when I look at this team, I don't see it. And that's why I think Giannis does have doubts. But I never, co I never question his commitment to defense and playing hard because he has done that in his whole entire career for the Bucks. So if he continues to do that, he's going to continue to be in this discussion. But I don't have him winning it. And the guy I do have winning it is AD. I think he finally gets the award. He came close to getting it. And I always felt like he was a great defender. I always felt like he was a great team defender. And I always felt like he held his teammates accountable. He was one of the biggest people that got credit for holding LeBron James and his teammates accountable for playing great defense. Their defense was good, and that's why he was in the conversation. And I think they took a slide defensively when it comes to the personnel that they brought in. But with communication and Frank Vogel having his system implemented, I think that they will still be there. I think these other teams take a step back, and I think that the Lakers stay about where they was. And if the other candidates are not playing as, at that level or close to it, there's only one player that can win this award. And I think Anthony Davis finally gets his defensive player of the year. LeBron, Marc Gasol, and those guys should be able to hold it down enough. And with communication and help and Frank Vogel, who has always led great defenses, I think that he finally gets the award. And he should be happy because he came close but didn't come – didn't come home with it, but he was in discussion the whole year, and some people feel like he deserved it. And if he continues to play the way he plays and continues, because offensively they got more scoring and they got more guys that can do things on their own, which means that's less him and LeBron has to do offensively, which means there's more that they can do defensively. And if he can step his game up and hold his teammates accountable and communicate with them, 
I don't see why Anthony Davis cannot walk away with this award for the first time of his career this season. And that's it. Check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description comment section below. Check out my Facebook page, analysisplayground.com. Link will be in the description comment section below. Like on Facebook to show support. Thanks for everybody that checks it out. Thanks for everybody that likes. Not only that, I will also say you can buy merchandise. You can change the color of the hat, pick the hat, pick the shirt, pick the logo, customize it the way that you want it to be. Message me and I can get it shipped out to you. You can also buy merchandise exclusively on my spread shirt that will also be in the description in the comment section below. Not only that, you can also support this channel by liking and sharing. If you don't want to buy any merchandise, that's fine. Liking and sharing allows this video to reach more people, see more people that see it, the more people that can check it out, the more this channel can continue to grow. Not only that, I make videos each and every day, whether it's breakdowns of players, legends, rookies, or even summer league breakdowns or coverage, draft coverage, free agency, top 10 lists, also season previews, also playoff prediction and discussions just like this. So if you love that type of content and you need it each and every day, I have you covered. I have over 2000 videos to prove it. So check out those also. Not only that, feel free to leave a comment. If you think I'm missing somebody or somebody should be on this list or I'm sleeping on somebody or I got it right, whatever you feel, let me know in the comment section below as I read every single comment. Other than that, Quinn Wade, I'm gone. Check out my older video. Check out this video and I'm gone. Enjoy your day.